Hi, Todd Swart here. I'm sitting here at my easel. As you can see, I've got a blank canvas behind me, just starting to get uh, ready to get started on a new painting. I'm pretty excited about it. I'll show you what I'm going to be working on. So it is this nice little river scene here. It's a photo I took uh, up in the eastern Sierras, up near Bishop. A uh, really nice little scene. I really like it. Uh, I'm a little concerned. There's a lot of grays especially in these bushes around this area here. So I'm really going to have to push the color, I think, on some of those grays. It's going to be an interesting challenge to make that, make that kind of vibrant and make, um, make it a little more interesting, I think, uh, especially in including those grays in the rocks. But overall, I love the scene. I like the composition. I uh, got my blank canvas all set up, and I am ready to go. Okay, so here I am. Uh, I've just finished up the initial block-in stage. You can see it there behind me. Let me give you a closer look there. Uh, so I have gone ahead and blocked in uh, the major shapes of tone, so the major lights and darks areas. I've blocked in the placement of all of the objects, so the rocks, the shoreline, the placement of these trees in the background, um, and everything's uh, nicely laid in there and we'll get ready to get started here uh, I gotta say this is often my favorite part of the painting it's just so satisfying to to uh, so quickly get down this the basic information and to see it start to come together it's really fun um, but I'm looking forward to the rest of the painting too alright so starting on day number two of this painting as you can see I've got about half the block in done I've got the river, the rocks, uh, some indication of the water, uh, the, uh, the rapids there. Uh, still got to block in the foliage and the trees uh, in the background. Uh, but I think uh, we're looking at a pretty good start so far. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got the whole painting, uh, the whole canvas covered uh, in paint at this point. Uh, as you can see, it's really very blotchy. But there are a couple areas I wanted to take a look at real quickly. We can just zoom in there. So, like I say, it's real blotchy, and that's okay. I don't want any detail at this point. The two areas that stand out to me as being kind of particularly ugly or standing out are these two areas up here in the corner, which, as we can see on the image, those are just some background hazy trees. And so what I'm going to do at this point is just to get rid of those big sections of, um, they're both the same color. There's no breaks or anything in those. I'm just going to add a few indications of tree trunks in those two spots, uh, just to break those up a little bit. And then once I do that, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've added just a little bit more detail, added a little more variety, I should say, to kind of the background and foreground areas. I don't know how well you can see that. Added just a real light suggestion of the tree trunks there on the back sides. Uh, being very careful to kind of space those out so they're not evenly spaced. Space them out unevenly. Uh, added a little bit more like a uh, variety of tones in the center uh, uh, bushes area. Again, real blotchy. At this point, I've always say all my paintings go through an ugly phase before they get to, uh, before they start looking good. So I think this is definitely still in its ugly phase, but I'm not worried about it at all. I think it's a really good place, uh, and I think I've got a good foundation there to continue working on. Alright, so I think we're making some good progress. Uh, I've been working on it now, working a lot on the, uh, the middle ground bushes, trying to add a lot of shape and definition to those bushes here. So getting some of these bushes with their own individual color just to kind of add some distinction uh, as well as a little bit of depth to those bushes. I also added just a touch of sky up here in the corner. I did that because if you notice in the reference photo, we got a lot of these gray trees here in the background on both sides. And those are going to be hard enough to communicate those trees back there uh, as well as kind of there's a mountain behind there. Uh, but without having some kind of um, some kind of anchor, those trees are just going to be really tough to communicate. Also, I think having the sky uh, adds a little bit more depth to the scene. So I think it really kind of helps open things up. And I think now we need to move into the water. It needs a lot of work. And we'll see how it goes from there. 
Hey, so I wanted to take a quick look at a section I've been working on this morning. I thought it was kind of interesting. I've been working on the water and I was having trouble getting all the kind of white water areas to look, to look natural. And what I realized was that I had these rocks in the wrong places. Uh, so looking at the reference photo, it's, and I'm not trying to copy where the rocks are, but what I realized was that all the water up here in this area is kind of forms a little pool and then uh, this area below these rocks is a little bit lower down and so the water is kind of being funneled between these rocks into a lower section and that's what's causing the white water so I changed the placement of some of these rocks so it creates that effect of funneling that water down into that lower kind of little canyon and creating that white water area so I think it looks a lot more natural. Alright, so we've been making some good progress on this painting. I've uh, passed the, the general block-in stage and I've pretty much got everything up to kind of the same level of refinement. Uh, this is the stage in the painting where I really kind of try to step back and do an analysis and kind of see how everything looks. And I feel like I'm in pretty good shape at this point. I have what I feel like is a pretty strong statement about what the whole painting is about. It's clearly about this rocky creek, you know, up in the mountains. Uh, it's, it's visually interesting to me. Uh, there, are, uh, there are elements of visual interest kind of throughout the painting. I feel like the composition is solid. Um, there's no clear center of interest right now. But I think the center of interest is different than the subject of the painting. The subject of this painting to me really is this, this rocky creek, this rocky river. Uh, the center of interest, I've got some ideas about that. That's going to come a little later. I'm thinking I might put something in this area here, like a brightly colored bush, uh, something of that nature to kind of just uh, grab your attention there. Um, but so far, I think, like I say, there's, there's a really strong statement. I think it's coming along pretty well. Okay, so I've been making some good progress here. I wanted to show you a little bit about where, this, where I am right now. So I did a lot of work uh, in the trees here in the background. So kind of got those uh, kind of looking like pine trees. I added a suggestion of a center of, center of interest here on the left, or the kind of left center. I uh, kind of put a patch of, um, you know, patch of grass in there, patch of greenery. Still got to refine that a bit, uh, especially along the, edge, the water's edge there. I want to make some changes, but I think that's got some, uh, I think it's a good start. I did quite a bit of work on this area here on the left. I really wish I had, um, had videoed this before I started working on it, because I really like the change from where it was uh, to where it is now. I still got a ways to go, uh, but I think this area, these rocks, uh, those couple dead logs really read much better than they did. Uh, so now I need to really move into back into that water. If you notice, uh, the water in here is really kind of unrefined, um, except the, the rapids or the, the white water is, is okay. Um, but all the rest of the, the water area, the, the stream, really needs a lot of work. Uh, but overall, I think it's coming along pretty well. Alright, so I wanted to take a look real quick at where we are. I've been doing a lot of work, uh, kind of overall, as I hope you can see. Uh, especially in the water area. Since last time, I've been doing a lot of work in the rocks and in the water. And I wanted to point out, especially uh, the whitewater areas. So if you look like here, uh, wherever there's whitewater, you have to... I've kind of had to really study this and kind of um, kind of figure out how to make it work. Every time there's whitewater that starts, there's always a cause of the whitewater. So in this case, there's a rock right there, and I think there's a little bit lower section between these three rocks. Uh, if you look over here, there's a little bit of white water there, and it's kind of as the, as the water is flowing around the rock, as it hits the bottom side, that's where the churning starts. There has to be something that starts the churning. Uh, up here, if you notice, 
you have some rocks over on this side that start a little bit of churning and then rocks over on this side and then they come down into kind of a little V and it's where those two currents meet that you get a little bit of, of churning and a little bit of white water right there. Um, for a while I was trying just to go looking at my uh, at the reference photo I was trying to just to kind of match the shapes of, of those white patterns which is good that's you know you can't go wrong doing that but I think that I really realized that in this case to get the effect of water I also need to give information about what's causing the water to churn so make sure that above each section of of churning of white water there's a rock or a series of rocks that kind of initiate that that faster flow of current that causes the white water and if you notice down here at the bottom the night lights not as good <clears throat> this is kind of a little bit unrefined but I'm gonna make sure and see right here I just have kind of the shape of of the water uh, the shape of that of that white water current and it's not quite as effective because I don't have an established a really strong cause for that uh, so I'm going to be real careful to make sure that there's a couple of sticks if you look over in the reference photo there's like part of that log and maybe a rock down in there uh, so there's something that's causing that, that uh, increased flow of current that's causing the white water okay so I think things are coming along pretty nicely I've uh, been doing a lot of work, uh, did a lot of work on the, on the water there, which I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, at this point, I've really kind of taken a step back and done an evaluation of what needs work. And what I've done is put together an actual list of stuff that needs, I don't know if you can see that, an actual list of, um, of stuff that needs to be done. So I just want to go through that real quick. I'm going to use my paintbrush here as a pointer and so my first item on my list is add larger patches of lights and bushes to the shadows on the left so that's this area here so I think um, actually from a distance it's not looking too bad but when I was up close there's kind of the, the patches of highlights and shadows they're kind of all similar throughout the throughout those bushes there so I want to add some variety a couple big patches of shadow a couple big patches of highlights um, just to add a little more form to those bushes. And my next item is add variety to the shrubs, to shrub at profile center. Oh, the add variety to the, sh the profile of this shrub is just too, too much the same, right? It's just one continuous kind of line. So I need to break that up a little bit, add some uh, peaks and valleys. Next I have rework the small dots of foam in the water. So these little guys right here which I think are reading pretty well, but they're just too much, they look too much like just a dab of white paint. So I want to mix a little bit of, um, of the watercolor into them. Still have that, you know, the white highlight showing up, but not kind of so prominently, I guess. And next I have add trees to the top left corner. So that's going to be up here. I'm going to put some dead trees that there's one kind of half, half a tree there. I'm going to put one or two of those, uh, one or two of those in. Big important item is to develop the center of interest. So I have a suggestion of it here. A um, little bit of green grass there with a few kind of brownish shrubs. So I want to change the shape of that. I don't like the shape of that uh, of the water line there. So I'm going to add a little bit something there. I'm not quite sure yet what, and just develop that spot right there as the center of interest. And I have reworked the large foreground rock. So this rock is going to be very important. Just because it's so prominent and you know so much in your face, it needs to have a little more detail. I've got it nicely blocked in, but the you know details are kind of blotchy. So since it's so much in the foreground, I just want to have that bring that up to a little bit higher level of refinement. And next I have add the fallen branches on the right so I'm going to be adding these you can see in the reference photo here I've got several nice fallen branches that just kind of add some interest to this side of the canvas and then I put rework the purples in the water in the middle ground so I like overall I like the water but if you look here I added 
and these kind of transition colors here they, they came out way too purple so I've got a nice kind of light bluish zone here with some yellows uh, and a nice blue streak there in the center um, but the area in between I th they came out purple and I just don't think it reads very well so I need to rework rework those colors in the water and I want to rework the foam in the rapids so this these areas and this here which I think are reading pretty well but again I just think getting up close I think they could use some refinement I just want those to be really impactful parts of the painting and my last item is rework the background rocks so these rocks back in here they're they're kind of uh, blocked in nicely but I think they could just use a little refinement not a huge amount but just something to add to my list uh, oh and I also want to kind of accentuate a little bit this it looks like there's a fallen log back there so I want to kind of add a little more emphasis to that just so add a, put a little more interest in there so I kinda like to do this I don't do this for every painting make a, a, a list like this but in something a, a painting like this that's got a, got a lot of elements going on it's kinda complex uh, it helps at this stage to have that checklist and then I'll check all those items off and then I'll, keep I'll do it again I'll keep evaluating and <laughs> keep evaluating until I decide it's done. Alright, so I made it through my checklist. I went through and fixed every item on the list and checked everything off. And then I sat back and kind of did another evaluation. And guess what? I came up with another list. And this list is every bit as long, if not longer, than the first list. Uh, that's kind of how it goes sometimes with evaluations is you, you fix a bunch of things, you get everything, uh, the first group of things that you see, and take a step back, and with those things fixed, with those things in place, wow, now I see different things, I see new things. And so I'm not going to go through and read the list this time. Um, at this stage, the, the list items get much smaller, so instead of kind of uh, big fixes, big corrections to make, they're, they're uh, kind of more minor details or or just adjusting things in smaller areas. Uh, so I'm gonna get started on this list now. Okay, so I think I'm about ready to call this one done. This has been a lot of fun to work on this painting. It's been a bit of a challenge, though you can get a good look at it. And you never know, I might come back to it in a couple weeks and decide there's more that I wanna do on it. But for now, I think it's in a pretty good place. I hope you have enjoyed the video. This is the first of in a series that I want to do. I want to do this type of video for each one of my paintings. So if you enjoyed this one, I hope maybe you'll subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. But real quick, before we go, I wanted to also give you a preview of my next painting. It is going to be this little scene. It's a scene down in the Arroyo Seco. Uh, just a little way from the Rose Bowl here in Pasadena. So this will be a fun little project, a lot of good challenges there. Looking forward to seeing you there.